So what are the things that really destroy your credit? You know, uh, really, what are the, what are the top things that, that you really just don't want to do? Okay. Great question. We're going to talk about them in today's training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams and on this channel we empower individuals to achieve freedom through improved financial literacy. If you're new to this channel, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell and that way you get notified on any and all of our future trainings and lessons. So in today's video guys, we're going to be discussing what are the top things that destroy uh, and really negatively impact your credit score and if you haven't already seen it we have several videos on this channel about credit and really breaking down you know really the factors um that that truly uh, make up your credit score so if you haven't seen those detailed videos that we'll link to them below or in the cards here uh, on this video um but i want to give you guys the top couple of things really the top three things that really just crush your score um and you really just want to make sure you're not doing these things uh you know and, and hopefully you're on this channel and if you're new here you know subscribe you know get plugged in watch the other videos on this channel so that way you're not you know in in a situation to where you have to you know do some of this stuff because because i get it um, over the years, you know, I've worked with uh, hundreds of entrepreneurs and, and other individuals and people have gone through some tough times. You know, there are some situations in, in life, you know, a medical, you know, situations that can come up that can create a bad financial situation. Um, you know, loss of income, loss of business, you know, things like that. So there's, there's always situations that can happen. And I want you guys to be prepared. Um, for what that kind of stuff can do to you credit wise. And then of course the things that you could do to start recovering your credit if some of that stuff either has already happened or may happen to you in the future uh, due to whatever uh, unforeseen event. So the number one thing that absolutely destroys your credit is missing payments, okay? And, and really late payments. Now, you know, this, as we know, um, as far as factors that make up your credit, 35% on the fight bill, 35% of your credit score comes from your payment history. So the number one thing that's really going to beat you up and, and really make you lose out on that big chunk of, of max credit score. I mean, if you want to have grade A credit where you can get the best lines of credit, the best terms, lowest fees, et cetera, um, you know, you got to have premium credit. And if you're, if 35% of your score um, is showing, you know, 60 day late payment, 90 day late payment, uh, you know, uh, free, you know, there's often, you know, maybe a couple late payments per year, you know, if they're able to see that on your credit report, you know, that 35% is really going to suffer. So it is definitely the biggest part of your credit score is to make sure that you're making your payments on time. And that truly is the remedy. You know, and one of the things that I found that's been really, really helpful, and especially for those of you guys that are using some of the other techniques that you've learned about you know, on this channel, again, you know, I don't uh, advocate for anybody to use uh, tools or use lines of credit that they are not educated about, you know, especially when it comes to best practices and proper use. So again, you got to spend your time to do the education, make sure that you are learning how to use these tools. Uh, but again, for those of you that are using uh, techniques like, uh, you know, the credit card, uh, you know, churning where you want to rack up some points, you know, auto pay, um, many of your bills nowadays allow you to set up auto pay where it just automatically dings your, your credit card every single month. And so that's a great way to just to make sure that that payment gets made, it goes onto the line, and then it's just up to you to make sure that you make that credit card payment every single month. And obviously we want to pay that balance all the way down to zero to avoid any interest. So the next thing that you're going, to, you really just want to avoid this, uh, you know, if possible. Uh, but it, it's definitely going to crush your score. The second thing I want to discuss is public records. Okay, and as again we've discussed in other videos, public records do appear on your credit report, and every public record that will appear on your credit report affects your credit report negatively. Okay, and some of them affect your credit report in a big time way for a long, long time. And so when we're talking public records, this is where we're talking about bankruptcies, foreclosures, um, a judgment. Okay, let's say, I mean, literally you got, you didn't pay some kind of bill and you got sued for it. And, and now there's a judgment against you. Um, you know, this could be where you're going to see, you know, tax liens. You know, if you owe state taxes or federal taxes, uh, you know, again, even if you're on some kind of payment plan, even if you paid it off, that is going to be made a public record and will show up on your credit report. 
And bottom line, guys, is these are damaging. And I know from personal experience, I made a lot of mistakes in my 20s regarding my finances. And one of them was getting in, uh, getting behind on state taxes when we lived in the state of Oklahoma. I was playing the game uh, in my W-2 world. Okay, I want to get caught up here. So let me block my taxes single nine for a, a couple months and I'll turn it off. And, uh, you know, I say that and it's like, oh my God, how many people uh, do that? Uh, even in this day and age, you know, just because I got to get ahead, you know, block the taxes for a few months and then I'll, I'll turn it back on. Uh, well, we didn't, you know, we didn't turn it back on and we ended up not paying enough state taxes. And because of that, we ended up owing the state taxes. And even though we set up a payment plan, even though we made every single payment, made that thing perfectly, that thing sat on our credit for seven years, uh, damaging our credit score. And so, um, and it was, and it was across all three. It was on all three bureaus. So public records, how do we avoid those? Uh, when it comes to all of the financial stuff, and again, I, I run with a very fast network of real estate investors. So we're around folks and, and really help folks that are in foreclosure, facing bankruptcy, things like that. So we know that it's a part of life. And I want to also say this too about bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is a tool. Okay, um, it is a tool to give people a fresh start that for whatever reason are in over their heads. And you hear in the news about, uh, you know, you know, I'll say high level, very wealthy entrepreneurs that have gone bankrupt multiple times um, before they, they hit it big. And I remember growing up, you know, and being pure W-2, when you think of bankruptcy, you think, oh my God, you know, this person's, you know, just going crazy and they're just spending all this money that they're not, they're not earning. And what I've learned uh, just with life and, and through being an entrepreneur is that, you know, sometimes things happen, you know, that affect your, your health, um, which will then affect your wealth. It can affect your business. And from there, uh, you end up in a scenario where, look, you need some help. And so bankruptcy is a tool for people to, um, to, to use that tool to get that fresh start. So that way they can have another chance uh, to kind of get back on that horse, uh, you know, take action in their life and in their business and try to recreate something anew. But just know if you do have a bankruptcy, it will sit on your credit report uh, for seven to 10 years. And now the third thing, okay, which isn't as brutal as the last two, because again, public records, not making your payments on time, those are definitely the big two. They're gonna crush your score. Uh, but the third thing that can also crush your score, guys, is having a very high credit utilization, okay? And what we're really talking about here is your, your lines of credit. So if you have some credit cards out there, you wanna keep your utilization percentage low. And really what they would like to see is less than 30% utilization. So for example, let's say you have a $10,000 credit card, you never wanna carry a balance over 3,000. Because if you carry a balance over 3,000, 3,000 will be 30% of the 10,000, okay? So if you wanted to stay under 30%, you wanna make sure to keep your balance under $3,000. Now, the reason why that's so important, why that can impact your credit is because utilization, okay, or really overall indebtedness, but credit utilization, revolving credit utilization is the big key cog of that chunk of your credit. And we're talking about 30% of your FICO score. So 30% of your score is coming from utilization. So if you have a very high utilization ratio, so let's say you have $10,000 worth of total available credit amongst all of your credit cards, okay? And from there, you're using, let's say, 9,500 of it. Okay, so you're, you're almost maxed out. You're at 95% utilization. That's gonna result in a very low score for that whole 30% of your overall credit score. So the remedy here is, of course, to keep your utilization percentages very, very low. And definitely, if you're looking to get qualified for a mortgage or some type of a loan, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to pay down your utilization ratio as much as humanly possible, if not all the way down to zero, uh, definitely below the 30% before you apply. Um, you know, one of the big problems is that even if your utilization ratio is like some folks will still have pretty decent credit, they'll have higher utilization, but they've made all their payments on time. They don't have public records. You know, they have a great job. Now you may still be able to get qualified, you know, in that type of a scenario, but you're going to end up paying higher interest, higher fees, um, because your overall credit score, um, is going to be much, much lower because of that high utilization. So before you go in to try to qualify for anything, uh, you want to make sure that your utilization ratio is, is as low as humanly possible.
So those are the three big things that really crush your credit. Again, you want to make sure that you are making your payments on time every time. And if you need to set up auto pay so that way, you know, those things are going onto your line of credit so the payments are made and then you just have the one payment every month to your line, pay it down as much as possible, if not in full every single month. We want to avoid all public records as much as humanly possible. Those are usually indicative of financial trouble like a bankruptcy or a foreclosure uh, or again, a tax lien, something like that to where uh, it's very, very well noted in your credit report there that you were behind or even a judgment. So again, you want to avoid public records as much as possible. And again, the third thing is, of course, that utilization ratio. You want to keep that ratio as low as possible. Now, of course, if you're able to keep that utilization ratio at zero and pay off your balance every single month, that's what we really want to be doing. Uh, but to be credit conscious, you want to make sure to keep your ratio under 30%. You run the risk of lowering your credit score. So hopefully you guys found value in this training. If you did, make sure to give it a comment, give it a like below. And again, make sure to share this video. You know, my goal on this channel is to empower as many people as possible to achieve freedom through improved financial literacy. The focus is to really talk about things that are just not taught out there in public schools. I know I sure wasn't taught most of this stuff. So if you have people in your life that you feel would benefit from this kind of information, make sure to give this uh, video a share and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.